Hey guys! I'm Diane. It's Buya. KM. And we are here for NYX Professional Makeup to play with their newest products, the Epic, Epic Ink, Ink Lip Dye! Dye. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so Diane, first off, what shades do we have? So we have here the Night Runner, the Heartbreaker, and Charmer. What I have are Revolt, Wizardry, and Victorian. And then I have Obsess and Poise. So um, guys, where did you first find out about these? Well, I actually tried this when we went to the Next Face Awards. Oh yeah, right? yes, yes, yes! I remember that moment because I'm a fan of lip tints, yeah. and th that was the first time that I saw a an Epic Ink lip dye. It's not yeah. just a tint; mm -hmm. it's a dye. Therefore, it's super long lasting. Oh, Along to with be the honest, shades. I've never tried any lip tints before. What? This is kind of our first impression video. The first impressions are going to be on mostly on the shades, but we will be also reviewing the products for you guys and how to use them as well. So right now, I'm going to start swatching the products. This is the first shade, Night Runner, and I'm going to swatch it. I feel like I'm going to love that color. Oh yes, I am going to love it. I'm loving it. It's, it really is true to its shade name. It's Night like, Runner. Yeah, because it's really, really dark. It's, it's actually colored. different from the container outside. Okay, so the second shade is Heartbreaker. That color is really hard to pull off because it's too pink. It really has a liquidy um, finish. Yeah. Can, can you sport pink. that look? Um, pink, pink. No. I'm still having I a don't, hard time. I don't like pink shades. <laughs> I don't like pink. But <laughs> I'm trying to because you know we are makeup artists. Next we have Charmer. Ooh. Oh my God. Bloody so the red. This one. Do you remember that childhood candy of ours? That oh yeah yeah. <laughs> that makes our the lips. lips. I don't I don't know that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now I'm gonna swatch base shades. The first one that I'm going to swatch is Revolt. This is the first shade that I've actually tried. I think that's the popular Korean color, right? Yes! The orange thing. Indeed! Yeah. This one is buildable compared to the Korean lip tints. Yeah. I f yeah, I feel this like... This one is darker. Um, I can't do the Korean lips with this one, the blurred lines. But you actually can because I use Poise. Mm -hmm. I use it first and then I faded it with my fingers and then I used, um, I think, Wizardy mm -hmm. and it looks faded. shade I'm gonna try is Victorian. I really like this color. So this one is a violet shade. So what I realized whilst watching is that you remove the excess liquid yeah. from the wand and then it's easier like that because that will help you build up. Yeah. That will just from translucent, you can slowly build it to more colors, more colors if you yeah, want to. especially if you have dry lips. Okay, so we have the shade Wizardy next. This one is actually my favorite shade. It has that brown undertone to it. Brown, yeah. brown, it's red, brown, red. So you kind of make that ombre effect on your lips. Yeah. So this is the first ever color that I saw during the NYX Face Awards launch. This is in the shade Poise. I'm loving that color. Yeah. This one is, I think, the true red. Yes. It's like bloody red. It's really perfect for that perfect red shade. So the last shade is Obsessed and it is like a purple too. Oh my god, we're obsessed. Chara. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. This one is again a plum tint. I think when you put it on the lips, it's not that streaky. It actually depends on your um, application. The streaky definition for these epic inks are that it's more of the liquidish streaks, not the applicator streaks. Yeah. yeah. So these are the swatches of all of the epic ink dyes. So nice. 
so this is like the color intensity and like i'm running my hands through the swatches oh my god it's, <laughs> it's, it's not proof. moving at all okay let's start with the downside i think it is very hard to remove especially if you keep on changing colors because i swatch different kinds of shades like what i said earlier i feel like it's more of the formulation because it's very runny because it's in a liquid very liquidy type formulation the streakiness is not because of the applicator because usually it's the applicator's fault that's why it's streaky but with this one it's streaky because of the formulation what you can do with that is that you you just build up until you cover up the streaks Sometimes it gets patchy because of the application but what I do about it is I take a lip balm overnight and then in the morning I just apply it and then it's just okay. But aside from those, what I really love about these Epic Ink lip dyes is because they're very lightweight and to be honest with you guys, I'm that type of person who's really clumsy and I, when I eat food, I eat food! <laughs> and I feel like with these, it's not these epic ink dyes don't transfer that mm -hmm. fast, but no, none at all. The formula is very cool, it is very pigmented, it is very long lasting, so I think that if you use it every day, you can use it up to like three months, even more. You can use these epic ink lip dyes when you're a working girl, mm -hmm. you're going to school, you're clumsy like me, and when you're working out because these are really long lasting and lightweight. Overall, I will give it 8.5 because as time goes by, the formula is a little patchy and it's quite difficult to remove. I guess it depends on the person's preferences. So for me, 8.5. I give it a 9. You have to moisturize your lips the night before if you're gonna switch up yeah, the shades, but if you're only gonna use one, then there's no problem at all. I have a weird score because I'm gonna give two scores just because my spirit will give it a 10 but my body will give it a 7 just because I have dry lips that's what I have to do is that I have to moisturize it but guys I am giving it a 10 because I love this formulation so much and it's so lightweight and it's so long lasting wow. my spirit loves it to the core <laughs> yeah. so if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and yes. share this video and leave your comments down below and stay tuned to our next video. You can follow us on our social media accounts which will be linked down below. Or anywhere. Oh, anywhere? Okay. <laughs> you can find us anywhere, you guys. Yes. Yes. Bye.